Today we're considering the second chapter in this little book, the book of Amos. Now here's one of the principles we see in this chapter. God loves you, he loves me, and he loves his people enough to tell them no. God loves his people enough not just to say no, but allow his people to experience the consequences and the results of their decisions and their disobedience. Let me read to you what I mean by this from the fourth verse of the second chapter. This is what it says. The Lord says, the people of Judah have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. They have rejected the instruction of the Lord, refusing to obey his decrees. They have been led astray by the same lies that deceived their ancestors. So I will send down fire on Judah and all the fortresses of Jerusalem will be destroyed. Now, if you've been following through the Bible with us, there's not a doubt in your mind that God loves his people. There are books written about the faithfulness and kindness and love of God towards his people. God loves his people. There's no question about that. And here's what this love looks like. He loves them enough to tell them no. He loves them enough to allow them to experience the consequences, the full weight of their decisions in their lives. You see, sin stinks, sin destroys. Disobedience is not your friend, it's your enemy. And you see, and in this chapter, it's interesting how God references the fact that there actually is an enemy who sows lies, doubt, fear, imagination, speculation. You see, the people in Amos' day had believed the lies of the enemy, that God isn't good, that God doesn't care. They followed the ways of a deceiver, became deceived, and then, out of their disobedience, received consequence. For your day, for my day, that doesn't have to be our story today. I want to encourage you to trust the Lord, love the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Recognize with me that God's commandments are his enablements. They're the pathway to enjoy life. So today, love God, just obey him, and recognize that God does love you enough to tell you no, to create guardrails and guidelines for your life and mine, for our good, and ultimately, for his glory.